Today, the world needs more leaders to deal with urgent environmental problems. Every year, many lives are lost because of intensifying natural disasters. Despite increasing rural development projects, people on low incomes are not improving their livelihood. Developing countries are intensifying water and air pollution. Our essential food sources are seriously threatened, partly because of extreme climatic conditions. The world's fishery is in decline, not only because of overfishing, but also ocean acidification. The list goes on. Despite this grim picture, have you ever thought about how these problems could be mitigated or solved? Have you ever thought that you could take leadership in dealing with these problems? If your answer is yes, you may be someone we have been looking for. So let us explain to you what we can do to foster leadership among people like you. We have done this for the last 35 years or so, and our students have normally gone through the following three steps. Step 1. Analyzing local problems. Our students, together with our experts in various fields of environmental science, are observing and analyzing social and environmental problems that are happening at a local scale. My name is Vera. The aim of my research laboratory is to review the physical processes that are responsible for a global warming, unusual climate, and long-term climate variations called paleoclimate studies from the atmosphere, ocean, and atmosphere land interaction perspective. So, uh, students and researchers, those who are interested in the global climate system, I'm happy to provide the research opportunity. Thank you very much. My study topic is environmental monitoring using artificial satellite. Particularly, my target is land cover change, like forest destruction or agricultural land. And if you are interested, please join and work together. I am very much waiting for you. Step 2. Applied Sciences Next, they apply their scientific knowledge to determine how specific environmental problems, such as heavy metal contamination in the soil or water, air pollution and public health issues, can be solved or mitigated. Students, my label, they study on three aspects. First is about waste water treatment, and the second is waste treatment especially for the uh, biogas production and uh, uh, bioethanol and so on. The third one is about useful material production, especially from the agricultural uh, waste to produce the useful material such, such as the polysaccharide and so on. Step 3. Integration into policy or planning. In order to deal with environmental problems effectively, applied science and local opinion needs to be incorporated into policy making. We encourage our students to develop various types of applied scientific knowledge within a global context. I've done extensive research on environmental policy, law and ethics that are in particular relevance to the rights of indigenous peoples and local communities. My research field initially focused on North America and Australia, but more recently I've done the field research in the Amazon, Southeast Asia, South Asia, and Japan. We welcome those who strive to be future innovators and help our civilizations achieve sustainable paths for development and the environment. Doctoral Program in Sustainable Environmental Studies In our doctoral program, students can refine professional skills that are essential in undertaking scientific or policy-related studies. They can also enhance their practical skills for conducting field surveys or laboratory experiments. Students are encouraged to connect their research interests to wider social and environmental needs for sustainability. 
Many of our students have explored new fields of study and achieved innovative results with various academic awards. We welcome students who are willing to expand their potentials to be global leaders by exploring the multidisciplinary world of environmental sciences. Global leadership cannot be achieved simply by going to different countries to conduct research or attend conferences. There is no instant leadership for sale either. Our SASTE program takes a systematic approach to global leadership for both master's and doctoral students. We also provide short-term training programs for government workers and students from other universities. Successful students receive a certificate at the end of the program. Organizing domestic and international internships is one of our signature activities. In many parts of Japan, we have organized surveys of meteorological phenomena, water environment management, marine and terrestrial ecology, natural disasters, soil erosion, and air pollution, just to name a few. We have also conducted environmental study seminars in more than 10 countries, including Canada, China, France, Indonesia, Kenya, Mongolia, Tunisia, and Vietnam. Every year, we hold international seminars by inviting renowned scholars from other countries, like Australia, Germany, the Netherlands, and the United States. The SUSTE program has its own consortium universities in Brazil, China, Indonesia, and Taiwan, and is currently expanding towards Europe. Through this network, we're able to benefit from educational exchange. All of the SASTEP courses and activities are in English and we provide academic writing support. Our writing centre helps students to refine their assignments and there is a weekly seminar designed to ensure that our students make steady progress, both in academic and other types of English writing. This is just a glimpse of our award-winning educational program. If you want to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Or come to Tsukuba and experience for yourself the joy of learning.